And now, because it's the holidays, and we all deserve a treat, weird sex news! <laughs> yep. It's a holiday classic here at The Late Show. Get the kids out of bed. It's time for weird sex news, parents. There's a breaking story out of Pompeii. That's right, a breaking story <laughs> out of Pompeii. Archaeologists just discovered a sensual fresco in an ancient Pompeii bedroom, which is the ancient Roman equivalent of dying without clearing your browser history. <laughs> well, brace yourselves. Brace yourselves, sensual fans, because here it is in all its glory. The fresco depicts the Greek god Zeus disguised as a swan and impregnating Leda, the queen of Sparta. I can't believe this just came up organically, because this is actually the perfect opportunity to bring up my new line of avian birth control, Stephen Colbert's Swandoms. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's a baby swan? They come in regular and extra neck. And <laughs> while... <laughs> Weird sex story. And while other homes in Pompeii have been found with the swan sex fresco, archaeologists say this one was unique because Lida was looking at whoever saw the fresco saying, Lida watches the spectator with a sensuality that's absolutely pronounced. Really? I don't see pronounced sensuality in this. The vibe I'm picking up... <laughs> the vibe I'm picking up is more like Mondays, am I right? <laughs> now, they have it. They're still working on the wall? They're still working on it? Yeah. They haven't finished excavating the wall, but when they do, you know they're going to find a pop-up ad. Meet horny swans in your area now. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. George R.R. R. Martin and Connie R.R. R. Britton. 